Hello, I'm Paul Connolly, president of Connolly Network Insight. In May of this year, I published a report entitled AT&T Media Strategy 2019. In that report, I analyzed in detail the increasingly large investments AT&T have been making in their media business. Beginning with uh, Uverse, a custom-built system that was rolled out to over 5 million subscribers, AT&T then made a large bet acquiring DirecTV and becoming overnight the largest pay TV distributor in the country. Recently, they doubled down on their media investment by acquiring Time Warner, becoming a major global content player. The biggest issue that AT&T have been facing for the last couple of years in their media business has been the loss of subscribers from both DirecTV and Uverse via cord cutting. Until recently, they really haven't had the ability to quell this cord cutting, but now, after much time and effort, they have introduced a new product called AT&T TV that will allow them to defend their pay TV distribution business. AT&T TV is effectively an IP streamed version of DirecTV. It will allow them to offer potential cord cutters a superior product at possibly a lower price and hence effectively defend their business. This is a major advance in AT&T's ability to defend their base and becomes the first element in the next phase of their media strategy. The second element allows them to significantly increase the profitability of both their pay TV distribution base and the content channels they've recently acquired by solving the long elusive problem of targeted TV advertising. They plan to do this by utilizing their unique asset of 170 million consumer connections via their wireless voice data and video service offerings. They'll take the data from those connections and mine it to be able to drive insight into a programmatic ad video exchange that is being developed uh, by Xander, their data analytics and digital advertising subsidiary. Having then successfully defended their base and increased the profitability of both their distribution base and their newly acquired content, AT&T can turn to the third element of their media strategy, which is to develop a direct-to-consumer streamed IP offering using the crown jewel from their Time Warner ap acquisition, HBO. I've just published a new report analyzing the details of this new phase of AT&T's media strategy. I've included nine steps that I believe AT&T will make over the next year to implement this strategy. Details on how to purchase this report are contained below this link. I urge you to acquire this report if you really want to understand what AT&T are up to and more importantly why as they advance their increasingly important media strategy. Next up in my analysis of the new media business is a report I'm working on on another major player in the media business, Disney. I'll examine in detail how Disney has been implementing their media strategy by first acquiring a stable of global studio brands, and more recently acquiring the entertainment assets of 21st Century Fox. I'll look in detail at why all the fuss about Disney's upcoming direct-to-consumer streaming product, Disney+. Plus. Watch for this report in the coming weeks. Thank you.